Next question from Best. Is placing the hands on the chest after greeting somebody saying salam e bidda? Well, it's, a, it's a more of a cultural, unheard of. But uh, you see, if <clears throat> uh, singling with the hand has to do with uh, a distant salam. Someone, for example, who is not in the same area and you cannot hear him. He may, he may single the salam to you. And now he may show respect. Uh, what, what the tradition, what the um, custom, the urf says about placing the hand on the chest is, I respect you. Thank you for your salam. Uh, you know, it's a sign language. Uh, but uh, something that has nothing to do with the salam itself. But in a way, uh, you're appreciating the person from a distance for giving you salam. Uh, and this is a cultural practice. Uh, but I wouldn't make it uh, fall into the area of bid'ah uh, because the person normally does it uh, to show appreciation uh, for uh, uh, the individual singling out the salam from a distance. Like, you know, somebody from a distance, he doesn't really have to do salam to you. He's far away. Let's say he's a mile away or maybe a hundred feet away from you. And, and you, you, you say sing, single back to him and he says, thank you. You know, thank you for your salam. You know, so this is like a sign language thing. All right, Ismail, next. Uh, Sheikh, can I add something to it? Sure. Uh, in my, my culture from, from Pakistan, this is what people, even in person, when you shake hands with somebody, after shaking hands, they pay, place the hands on the chest. No, not unheard of. There's had nothing to do with, yeah, unheard of. That's where it, it becomes maybe, uh, uh, you know, pairing it with the salam is a bit definitely right there, yes. The last question is from Ali. 